morning, exhausted, late flight last night back from Miami, and someone dumped a fifth of vodka, it seems like, on our entire <laughs> luggage. All our, our, luggage. our clothes smell like we've just been boozing it up. <laughs> and not the current ones we're wearing. Not the current <laughs> ones we're wearing, but like... Everything inside the suitcase. Yeah, not too happy about that, but rough night. Monday morning now. And we have an appointment at Body Cafe at the City Gym. City Athletic Club. City Athletic Club. And so Hide Tata Yamagishi and Iris Kyle own the cafe area with the supplement portion and they are expressing interest in MPA SUP. So we're gonna have a meeting with them right now. And that's where we're heading. It's been a hectic day. We just got back, like you know, from Miami last night. Been running errands all day, had a meeting earlier, and we need to get something to eat, so we decided in a pinch to go to a protein house and try this amazing looking burger. Egg white. Ninja burger. Egg white, ahi tuna, pineapple, onion, whole wheat bun, and some healthy yams or sweet potatoes, whatever you want to call them. Rachel has some salmon and some avocado. Wednesday morning, heading in for my final blood draw after my 45 day cycle, post cycle therapy, which just to recap was, first 16 days was HCG at 2500 I use every other day. And then I was to stop that after 16 days and continue on with 50 milligrams of Clomid and 20 milligrams of Novodex uh, until the 45 days were met. And now we're going for a final draw and we're gonna see where I'm at which I don't think I've budged much because I just don't feel any better. Um, we're going to do a consultation, obviously, after we get the blood results back, so probably another week from now is whenever I'll meet the doctor face-to-face -face again, and we're going to go over a strategy of how to make me feel better, look better, all that good stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. So I haven't really noticed any much uh, effects mentally or physically. Nothing's really been popping or coming to life since the HCG or the Clomid and all that stuff. Uh, unfortunately so looks like I was really in the gutter and this is kind of the end result and, and to update on kind of how my body is doing um, I feel like uh, whenever I went to travel to Miami obviously prioritizing a client is first is up is utmost importance so I wasn't really eating even at night properly adequate protein all that stuff so I probably I feel like I got even softer and so I feel like it's almost like with your levels are that low you you have to just maintain and if you add on and tack on fat then you're just you now you're stuck there and you got to prevent from adding more and more and more I don't feel like you can really go down you can just kind of maintain and if you slip a little bit you're kind of stuck now at that new high threshold which is super frustrating and terrible um, but that's only while you're in a hypogonadal crazy low state um, so we're also going to do a bod pod measurement right before I start any TRT or growth hormone replacement or whatever and do real pictures, put them out there in public to see how silly I look, the way I feel pretty bad. And then we're going to see if uh, things are going and moving forward in progress. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys, I just got back from my last blood draw and they scheduled me for a consultation to go over all the blood work the saliva cortisol test all that stuff on the 18th so around 12 days so I got to be even more patient and my gosh I being honest with everyone like I'm like I'm being transparent this whole entire time um, I would I almost have considered self-medicating because I know all the tests are done I know that's what he's gonna do anyway I know I haven't improved but I'm not I'm not gonna do that I don't think I'm still gonna tough it out for 12 days but I kind of motivated myself to kind of stay busy the next 12 days, and this is what I'm going to do. Probably won't do anything but make me tired and strung out, but I'm going to attempt it anyway. Um, I'm going to basically do as much cardio as I have energy for throughout the day on my spin cycle. Nothing set in stone. Um, my goal is to burn as much fat as I can, which seems impossible at this moment after everything else I've tried burn a lot, as much fat as I can in the next 12 days. So I'm at a really good starting point leanness wise, hopefully, but oh, I'm wishful. 
uh, before starting the TRT from the doctor in 12 days or so. Uh, and so cardio will be whatever I feel like. If I want to do two hours one day, I'll do it. If I want to do just incrementally 15 minute sessions a couple times a day or none at all, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be, of course, fasting and amino pulsing and then feeding at night. And I'm actually going to cut carbs completely and just do protein only. So like a protein sparing modified fast diet that usually obese people get on actually for short term correction of weight loss. Uh, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be honest with you too. And I'm actually going to employ low dose peptides for research purposes. Um, I'm not going to get too much into where I got them or anything like that, but they are from a, a, a pharmaceutical company. 100% uh, legit mass spectrometry, liquid chromatography, everything, it's, it's high end. Um, and I'm thinking about just doing micro doses throughout the day, 100 uh, micrograms of ipamorelin, 100 micrograms of modified GRF 129 uh, every two hours just to keep liberating fat, just to try to liberate fat in a depleted or a fasted state, I should say and doing as much cardio as possible. So low dose peptide, uh, I'm putting everything out on the table here. I'm not gonna keep that from the viewers. Um, I don't see a problem with it. And um, you know, I, and if it leads to other things where I'm gonna start injecting other things, I will tell everyone that this is 100% candid. This isn't, this isn't like the other people that think they're truthful out there that try to mislead you. This is the real genuine truth. Anything I do, I'm going to let it out for you guys. If I randomly decide to start injecting my arms with sight enhancing oil or anything, not that I am, but I will tell you. I will just straight up be as honest as I can, and that's the bottom line. So, yeah, I will keep everyone updated on how the fasting and the peptide protocol goes um, up until 12 days. So my goal, like I said, to recap is burn as much fat if even possible in the next 12 days with fasting, protein only, peptide pulsing, amino pulsing, uh, cardio as much as I can do. I'll even maybe bust up the rollerblades, start rollerblading around the neighborhood looking like an idiot. Um, whatever I can do to burn calories because now then once I start TRT in 12 days, assuming he'll do that, I'll be in a great point hopefully. you know, Not that you can burn a bunch of fat anyway even if you're in normal hormone levels, but if I can burn just a little bit, I'll be stoked about that. All right, we're at Whole Foods right now, post-training. And since I'm doing my 12-day protein-sparing modified fast crash diet with peptide pulsing, amino pulsing, what have you, I'm going to forego my cheat meal. And I need to enjoy myself, and I'm only having protein and vegetables, so I'm going to do what I've been wanting to do for a long time, homemade beef tartare, raw steak. I'm going to buy the best quality they have at Whole Foods. And we're going to go through it. I'm going to prepare some beef tartare. I might even meat grind it, or I'll just chop it finely. And maybe some pokey tuna or sashimi uh, since I'm only allowed to have protein I'm gonna try to burn as much fat as possible back from Whole Foods yes I got the steak tartare condiments and the steak itself um, but I want to go over some other groceries that I'm just eating right now while I'm doing my 12 days to get as lean as I can before I start my TRT priming phase um, I got some ground bison uh, I don't know if it's grass-fed, but it was pretty expensive and from Whole Foods, so I trust that it's high quality. Got some of that. Just because it's expensive? Yeah, just because it's expensive. <laughs> uh, I really think tzatziki is absolutely delicious, and it's like cucumber, garlic, dill. Um, it's low-carb, relatively low-fat, and I believe there's probiotics in it, so it's good for your digestion. I, I don't have a problem snacking on this, keeping the carbs low. Uh, another interesting thing that I found that I'm going to share is this cashew probiotic spread so it's made with cashews and it has a, it is fermented and i believe it has uh, live cultures in it so it's good for your gi tract um, cashews organic coconut oil and then cayenne lemon very natural tastes amazing it's thick it's like a spread um, and i'm not going to have too much of it but there's low carb healthy and then a billion dollar organic eggs just joking it's just regular eggs they're organic omega-3 but they're like Three fifty for a six pack, seven dollars for a twelve pack, but it's high quality. And I don't know if you guys see my other videos, but I highly recommend poaching your eggs or soft boiling them, keeping the yolk uh, not solidified, not cooked, because it can denature a lot of the awesome benefits of the yolk. So I'm going to be doing that, you know, at night post workout. Um, coconut milk creamer, uh, relatively not full fat, but there's some fat in there, but you only use it by the tablespoon, so you might get like a gram to two grams. This is for my coffee throughout the day to have my caffeine. And I thought this was pretty neat. 
I always go to teriyaki places and say, I wish I could make this at home to make it taste like teriyaki. And this stuff actually is kind of like the sauce you get at your teriyaki places that seem to be secretive. This stuff tastes just like the actual restaurants that you go to. We've um, had this brand before. I've yeah. never had this brand, Sky yeah, Village. We, oh, really? We've had sauce of it. There you go. And then also, guys, um, I'm, pay I'm eating post-workout. My protein only is um, orange roughy and some snapper here. And then ground chicken breast that's you know 99% chicken breast trimmed it's lean and that's it and next we're going to go over my steak tartare mess catastrophe in the kitchen now as we attempt to make my homemade beef tartare because when I'm dieting crash dieting in the next 12 days I need something to make me happy and look forward to and I love beef tartare in restaurants so I'm going to try to replicate it and it could epically fail. Um, first off, I got the freshest meat I could find from Whole Foods. I probably should have gone to a butcher. Knock on wood, hopefully I don't get sick from mm. this. I also should have chose uh, filet mignon. However, this is just a high quality top round because I want it as lean as possible. All I did was here is I, I cut it, julienned it, or whatever you say that. Is it ju julienne? Well, anyway, I cut it in long strips. And then I cut it in many pieces and it's, you know, this looks like a normal type of presentation for it. And now onto the flavoring. So we wanted to replicate our place that we love to go to, Echo and Rig uh, in Summerlin. And we watched a YouTube of how the chef makes his own. So Sam Marvin. Sam Marvin. Okay, we're gonna replicate that or attempt to at least. It could be a poor fail, failed attempt. But anyway, he recommends we're gonna do lemon juice. We're going to do choose do it as we go. I guess I could. I will put it all in here in the bowl. So here we go guys. We're just freestyling this. Lemon juice. We have jalapenos which he puts in his so I'm gonna put in mine and I like spice anyway. Chives next is what he puts in so uh, chives cut them, diced them up. I added in my own little mix and I like a little bit of ginger, so I just broke off a little end of this ginger. I skinned it and then I just chopped it up real fine, just a small amount. Ginger's good for digestion, circulatory health, all that good stuff. There's the ginger. And then, Papers. I believe I also added garlic, so that's my own mix. I wanted to add garlic because I like garlic. This seems like a lot. This could be a lot of stuff. Who knows? This is we're in no man's land. This Did you is throw all free your stuff. capers in? We got capers. He does capers. We're gonna do capers. How many do I? How much do I put in? I'm not Just sure. Just a little bit because it's salt. It helps with the salt. Helps with the salt, she says. Need a little bit more. Like I said, guys, I'm no pro. I'm just doing this the first, well, I've done it before, like in 2011, but I forgot how I did it. So this is all just experimentation, and we're going to see how it tastes and turns out. And another one. And he also does a little bit of olive oil. So just a drizzle. I mean, I don't know. That seems like a lot for my, for my standards, at least. And uh, you can also dip it in Dijon mustard. I have that on hand, too. And I'm gonna stir this up and then I'm gonna plate it and then we can. All finished. Here's the final uh, outcome here. You'll notice I even put the omega-3 just yolk. I isolated the yolk from the whites. You have to do that perfectly because you don't want the gooey whites. Um, here it is. It's not really that pretty. And there's some Dijon mustard. And real quick, eating raw meat, in my opinion, is healthier if you have high quality meat for longevity, just because, yeah, you aren't denaturing the protein. It's not being, uh, it's not getting messed up from the high temperature that you usually cook it with. If you char it, that's not good. But that's not really the biggest issue. The biggest issue is whenever you heat stuff or overheat it, carcinogens and things like that build up into it. And that can be hazardous for your cells. So in reality, you get all the live in, the enzymes that are involved in the meat and all the good stuff, um, as long as it's high quality. So that's another reason why I like it and it digests pretty well raw. Um, but we're gonna give it a go. I got some Dijon. I'm kind of scared to break into the yolk because, you know, it's at home, not a restaurant. But here we go. I'll be honest with you. Uh, 
Um, it's good. I'm not that picky. Obviously, filet mignon would be better. This is pretty good. I seasoned it enough to kind of offset the, the toughness of it. Um, I think the citric acids cook it to a certain degree, the, the, the acidity in it. Um, I like it. Pretty good. Next time we'll try filet mignon, and I, I know it'll be great with the other stuff that I add to it. So, beef tartare, being bored. Let's hope you don't get sick. Let's hope I don't get sick. This is the kind of stuff that I'm doing since I'm bored. I'm looking for something just to keep me entertained. So, there you have it. All right, guys. I'm going to treat myself to another crazy raw meal. This time we're going to do sashimi. So, there's a Japan Creek market behind me here. Never been to it. I, I yelped it and they seem to have good quality sashimi. So since I'm doing this 12 day crazy cut, no carbs, no cheat meals, I'm treating myself every night whether it's sashimi, tartare, whatever. So we're going to go in there. Hopefully uh, I read the correct Yelp reviews and everything's good and we will take you along and then have some sashimi post work. All right, guys, I'm really excited because I've located a true, genuine, authentic yam. Not sweet potato, yam. This is a real yam. It's, it's extremely long. It's from Japan. It's very hard to come across. A lot of times sweet potatoes are labeled yams, but this is a true yam. Those are sweet potatoes, not yams. Sweet potatoes. I thought that's an interesting thing we found here. He's really excited. Back from the Japanese market, Found some sashimi. We got the uh, salmon. It was like $19.99 a pound. And tuna, which I think was 25 bucks a pound or something, or 26. Uh, the quality seems good from the reviews. Now, I also got some powdered wasabi. I just put like a tablespoon in here and added just enough water to kind of make the paste. And it's normal wasabi. Simple as that. Um, and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna cut the sashimi with the grain. So it'll look something like this. Each slice will be thin, obviously. And I will decorate my plate and cut up some cucumbers and I'll show you the aftermath or the end result. Also, uh, I've been lazy and I'm doing Vegetables and steamer vegetables where you can steam them in the plastic, which is probably not the healthiest thing But I'm like I said, I want convenience. They kind of taste wilted. They could taste wilted and then I'll add my garlic parmesan I'll basically just toss it in there And shake it up and I have my delicious vegetables garlic parmesan flavor ready to go We will show you the aftermath As you guys can see I'm clearly a chef. Oh my god because look at this masterpiece. Look at this sashimi pizza. There's actually cucumbers at the very bottom of everything. And then there's the salmon and uh, nigiri tuna. He's just getting really bored with his with life choices. So he's having to spice up the look of the food. This is keeping me motivated. This is the only thing I look forward to now is because I'm gonna do this hardcore cut for 12 days, no carbs, protein only, fasting the majority of the day. So if I can come home to a delicious meal without carbs in the form of sashimi or steak, filet mignon, whatever, I'm gonna do that. And um, so it's about 9 p.m., 10 p.m. This will be my first official meal. I'm gonna slam as much protein as I can until bed, wake up the next morning, try to burn some more fat, so. Do you wanna go outside, baby? Come here. Come here. Do you wanna go outside? Wow. I did not sign up for this walk, baby. Want to go outside, bud? Yeah, I don't think so today, do you? All right, so a lot of my clients know that I recommend iced coffee like the day of the show or making weigh-ins or whatever. Um, sometimes it's a pain in the butt to go to Starbucks and buy a bunch. But at Target or any other grocery store, there's unsweetened an entire thing of black coffee cold. 
and uh, I just got some now because we're going to be doing some walking and since I'm fasting um, I'm going to hopefully uh, burn some fat here so Splenda or Truvia whatever you want to add to it uh, pre-content or a day before the show though I don't really like people to load up on artificial sweeteners because spikes insulin levels and I just I want to have water retention any any chance of water retention I want to minimize that so uh, but other than uh, any other day besides the day out, Splenda or Truvia is always great. So, just a little tip for you guys. That'll be in the video. We're out shopping now. Matt got me back today. Oh, Matt just bought lids. He got me back today because yesterday I told him that he had a dad bod. So today... Dad bod. Well, we <laughs> Not Matt Porter approved. <laughs> So today when we were at the store, I told him I was getting some rolls and then he poked my stomach and said I had enough rolls, so. Old school Bulls <laughs> hat, Chicago Bulls, snapback. To satisfy my wife, I got Seattle Seahawks retro, old school Seahawks fitted. And I'm a, I'm a Raiders fan though. So since I've been a little down lately about not pursuing my bodybuilding like I was, to fill the void of my depression, I've been shopping, so. I don't know, what do you guys think? These Adidas, these D Roses of the Adidas store? I think they're kind of cool. Buy one, get one half off. This is the second pair I'm thinking about. Sold, I like. No, on these. I kind of think they're cool. No. No, no, no. All right. All right, well, I'll do that. All right, guys. Post workout, Sunday night. I'm keeping it clean. We are going out to dinner, but we're gonna take you through our place that we love to go to called Rainbow Casino. It's ha just a cheap little very casino. Very cheap, cheap little casino. It has steaks, vegetables. I can eat clean. I can do my no carb, clean meal here. We're gonna take you along. It's super affordable in Vegas. It's kind of- It's in Henderson. In the Hendersons. So we're gonna check it out. Take you along with us. Salad number one of three to four salads, right? <laughs> How do we get so many salads again? I ordered one, just the broiled chicken salad, then we get a salad with my steak. And then I got a salad with my salmon. So I just took both of his. So what do we have? Three or four salads? Three. Salads Well, galore. two because they combined it. Right. All right. Best Let's getting ranch. started. I ordered two entrees, by the way. Salad number two. My second entree. Chicken breast. Hard boiled egg. Some white cheese. I'm going to give these oranges to Rachel because I'm not going to have any sugar. And then I'm going to await my flat iron steak because I got a 12 ounce flat iron steak, no oil, no butter, and two servings of vegetables because I can't have the baked potato. So this is how we're rolling well, you right could, now. you but you're choosing not to. Well, I just, I'm going carb free. I got to get some results in the next 12 days. Got our dinner with two entrees. Second entree is my steak, flat iron steak, 12 ounces. Double vegetables, but... I'm going to be honest, I didn't hear that they were peas, and since I was a child, I didn't really like peas, but I'm going to try to see what they taste like and see if I can tolerate them. And uh, Rachel, what do you got? Oh, um, a baked potato and salmon and peas and, and carrots, peas and too. Carrots. <laughs> and the most butter and tartar sauce and stuff ever. So here's our bill, but... Actually, that's with the tip that we included, so it was like 32 bucks, 33 bucks uh, for all three entrees. Not bad.